Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. It's the blackest heart, the blackest mind, the blackest man on social media, sign of black in and shining again. Asking you to hit the share button because the message is more important than the messenger. Um, I'll be honest, I am driving. There's nothing I can do about the wind noise. I'm sorry about that. Let me tell y'all straight away though, on a real gentleman. Um, when I was on Pablo Frescobar's uh, live, towards the end of his live stream, and I need to listen to the full playback, uh, we were talking about uh, why there's opposition to brothers traveling. And when I heard it, it was already, I mean, when I woke up, it was already kind of late into the stream. Um, so I didn't know if they were talking about the opposition from dating coaches and PUAs or the opposition from the matriarchs and the gynocrats. And I was waiting in the back of the studio to jump on. I was going to ask which one, and, and it hit me like a ton of bricks. It don't muck and fatter. Whoever the opposition is, it's the same thing. If it's the PUAs, they're doing it for your resources. If it is, um, if it's the gynocrats and the matriarchs, they're doing it for your resources. Either way, what they want to do is profit from uh, the women not doing their part in your life. Now, the women don't have to choose you and you don't have to choose any particular women. What I'm saying is that because that part of life which is important, the opposite gender for both of us, um, is just not there for many men. They want to profit from that instead of actually having to deal with the fact that they're not there for you. That's what's bothersome and that's what I find to be outright uh, I would say criminal and fraudulent, unacceptable, blasphemous even. Not that they don't like you, but that they are entitled, they demand uh, everything from you in exchange, not just even though they gave nothing to you, but in exchange for giving nothing to you. So in other words, they don't just want a profit even though they weren't there to bend over your couch and drain your testes and grant you some peace of mind and help you keep things clean. No, no, they want to profit specifically because they did not do this. And that's not all. I want to say that also with Counselor Sterling, um, Attorney Sterling, shout out to your blood. Um, Counselor Sterling was talking about how it is that women need to understand that men are not far removed from the threat of violence. And you know what? That's when it, it, it reminded me of something I said before. Many times women are doing the things that they do, not just even though circumstances don't warrant it, but they're doing it because the circumstances don't warrant it. They're doing it for a particular reason. The reason you may be trying or the outcome you are trying to avoid is exactly why they do what they do. So when you're with a woman that courts violence, she is not courting violence and provoking violence in your company, even though it could cause you injury, she's doing it because it will cause you injury. Women like for men to be hurt behind them for some reason. I shouldn't even say women, little girls do. It's not important to me what the reasons are. It's, all, it's, it's, it's tactically necessary to know what the reasons are, but I'll be honest with you, I don't feel a guck what they are as far as excusing it goes. There's no excuse for that. They're trying to cause you pain and injury. Now that's a woman that even if she likes you, she still wants to test you. And that's the whole part of that testing stuff. And this is what we need to understand, men. It is okay for us to test women, especially if your man is bringing something to the table, be it financially or otherwise. Now I bring, where I live, I bring normal finances to the table where I live. In the States, I don't bring any. But no matter where I live, I bring things to the table that other men don't bring. But it only works for women that are, um, that understand their role as women. Because I understand mine as a man. So it doesn't work in the West. What I bring to the table is no, um, it has no value in the West. As a matter of fact, it is negatively valued. It is positively valued where I live. I bring my father's example as a husband, and that's a hell of an example. And unfortunately, it only works nowadays outside the States. Just as an example. So what I want you to keep in mind is that when these little girls are out here provoking violence, they're doing it because either they don't want to keep you 
or they want to test you even if they like you so they can recategorize you into something they don't want. That's what that is. And it's an ego rush because they got a nigga in a hospital. And while you in the hospital laid up, she's going to be out there doing some other dude because she can. She's actually less likely to do some other dude if you break up with her than she is if you stay with her. Because always looking for some kind of validation, too. That's the other thing. Violence is a validation. Them looking, they're, they're, what I'm saying is this. The one thing they want to do is be difficult and cause you difficulty. That's the main thing. That is the one thing that all of the other things they do have in common. If you stop and think about it, this is your enemy. That's why I said this is war. The one thing they don't want to do is bring you joy, not even without the stress, but bring you joy that outweighs the stress. They don't want to do that. That's why they hate cooking and cleaning. It's not because it's laborious. Hell, they hate living in uh, dirty conditions too at times. They hate cooking and cleaning because these are things that benefit both of you. They'll turn around and deny themselves those benefits just to deny you these benefits. They want to be difficult and that's all there is to it. And that remind that brings me back to my point I was making about um, uh, Pablo Fresca Bar's live stream. Another thing hit me. He was looking to see how could he describe the role they want us to play. He was trying to find a word for it and I said, you know what, there is no word for it, for this role they want us to play when I think about it because um, although the nature is the same around the world, the fact remains that um, this role is new that they want us to play. That's what's new. The role that they are demanding and insisting that we play, not just that they want, but that they demand and insist that we play. And then, while I was thinking about it as he talked, it hit me again. There is a, a word for this. In Arabic, it's charmuta. In English, it's prostitute. In Spanish, I think it's piroja or, or prostituta. Um, depending on the dialect, depending on which nation. The point I'm making, gentlemen, is that at the end of it all, there is a role. <laughs> and it is the role of the hoe. They want us to play the role of the trick bitch. I wish I could have used a spoonerism, but then you really would not have understood. I mean, if I had said the big trick, you would have been like, what? I can say shuck that fit and you understand it, but this one I had to say it. But that, that's what they, they want us to play the role of that. The trick and the hoe, meaning you pay on both ends. <clears throat> you must pay to be a hoe, and then you, you, I mean, you pay the pimp so you can be a hoe. Now, many people would say, well, that's what pimps and hoes do. Yeah, okay, I mean, that's, I, I get that. But you're also paying the ones who teach you how. You pay the ones, somebody trains you to be their hoe. And you're supposed to pay them to train you, then turn around, be the hoe, and pay. You're supposed to be the hoe, but you pay the trick because you're a guy. Just because you're a guy and your junk is external. I want you to stop and think about how insulting that is. I don't know about you, but I'm insulted for us, gentlemen. I give no sympathy. I'm not capable of simply sympathy for some for something like that. You have to pay the cost of being a hoe and the cost of being a trick while you just a hoe. Now, what I'm saying is, women want you to be the hoe. In the West, I mean, that wicked witch of the West wants you to be a hoe. However, there is no word to describe how much they want you to pay and the type of disdain that they have for you. Even if you've done nothing to them. That being said, I hope I got the point across. I hope I explained it well enough. Thank you for listening. Black heart, black mind, black out. Aslam alaikum, black heterosexual non-select male power just because they don't like it. And black patriarchy until extinction or judgment day.